Hey everybody, Andrew Garter from the Montclair Local here at Woodman Field, where the Mounties took care of business, beating Livingston 51 to nothing. That's 102 points in two weeks, and that's got to feel really good for this offense. Charles Murphy Jr. told me after the game that really they're starting to click. He feels like he and his receivers are on the same page, and you saw that today as he hit wide open Walt King and Jason Boyle for 90 plus yards touchdowns. Uh, he told me that Livingston really wanted to sell out and stop Josh Crawford. That was very obvious early on, so the Mounties made them pay through the air. On top of that, you know, Crawford, Murphy, they still got theirs on the ground, including a Murphy 80-plus yard scramble for a touchdown. The Mounties were content to throw the ball. They got a lot of points early on. And uh, offensively, this Mounties team looked about as good as we've seen them look all year. Defensively, the Mounties had the number of the Livingston quarterback, who, uh, despite being really tall, got a lot of balls batted down. It could have been somewhere 6, 8, 10. I wouldn't be shocked. And some of those resulted in some interceptions, including a pick 6 by Walt King. Uh, a lot of interceptions and turnovers by the Mounties, uh, who were able to read Livingston's quarterback's eyes and really see where he was throwing the ball before he released it and Walt King told me after the game that that was something they saw on film and they expected. So right now it looks very good for the Mounties as they start heading towards the playoff. Of course they've got to take care of Irvington le uh, next week but overall they look like they're in really good shape heading into the playoffs and they may see Livingston again and they can expect that Livingston will give them a better game. But right now this Montclair team looks as tight as it has looked all season long, offense, defense, they look very good. They're getting healthy. Pat Barr will be back next week. Bogue Bigelow and Willie Matthews were back. Charles Murphy was back. And they are showing a lot of talent on the depth as Tyshawn Palmer, Sebastian Garda, Alejandro Dagnino, all guys who stepped over up over the last couple weeks and make sure everybody knows that the Mounties have more than enough uh, depth to handle any injuries that come their way. So I will see you guys next weekend for the Irvington game. That's a Friday night. Make sure you tune into the Twitter feed and check out everything on Montclair Local. We have your sports covered. All Montclair sports, all the high schools, all the time. For the Montclair Local, this is Andrew Gard. I'll see you guys next week.